Hey guys, let's get ready together. So today I am well moisturized and I'm going to try again uh, Youngblood Cosmetics. Their products made me feel a little bit dry last time I tried them, but I am still curious and not giving up. So I'm gonna try some uh, more natural beauty stuff today. Um, as you know, my channel is transitioning to cleaner ingredients slowly but surely. And I want to give you a bit of a demo of what Youngblood had been working for me like. Um, I don't think it's for everybody, mind you. I think it is for particular clientele, but I have enjoyed some of their products, so I'll, I will show you what I did like. I'm going to use Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer because I did find that um, that the young blood products made my dry skin feel more dry. So I have a liberally moisturized. You can see my face is glistening a little bit. And I want to give them a little bit more of a chance on um, on a, a, a more supple skin. So um, I'm gonna let it sit for a second. And I'm going to go in with Ivory Natural Mineral Foundation. Uh, ivory is that my color at least the color that I think I'm closest to I am going to take uh, my the body shop kabuki brush this goes with powder foundation this is specifically said to be for powder foundation so I am hopeful that this is going to be the right mode of application and as you do with mineral powders I am tapping it inside the brush so that I can swirl it in so let's see how this applies Okay, this is much better over very moisturized skin. Um, and I think it's also much better to really go very minimal on it. Because uh, I tend to be a little bit more liberal and slap easily the product on. Just like I do with my Bare Minerals. This is a little bit different. My Bare Minerals are a little bit more user friendly. But when buffed into a very well moisturized and oiled up skin. Actually, this is not bad. I am going to continue buffing it in and I will show you the final result. Let's see if it builds a little bit because right now I have a very sheer coverage uh, all over my skin. So I will see if I can get a like at least a light coverage out of it. Okay, it is doing this funny thing on my skin again. Um, hopefully it will wear better on a very, very well moisturized skin. I am not going to conceal because I want to see how it holds up on its own. So far, uh, it looks much better than last time. Actually, it doesn't look completely like skin, but not too bad. I am going to go with a shade neutral, which is a little bit too dark for me, just on the periphery, to give my face a little bit more shape. Although I think the coverage is fairly light, so it's not like you know I need a lot of shaping um, because I didn't erase my skin with it, but. I'm using it almost as a little bit of a bronzer and that works actually quite well. Um, you know, the trick of taking a foundation, a couple of uh, skin tones lighter than your own skin tone and that will usually makes a really great bronzer. So just a little bit of more warmth and I think that looks quite nice actually. Again, same, but on the other side. And the interesting thing about using mineral foundation in a way of a bronzer is that you can get a little bit more coverage out of your products without adding too many layers. So uh, a foundation, mineral foundation that is a bronzer will give you coverage on your cheeks if you need it. So I am okay with this. I think this looks quite nice. I'm not using any concealer. Like I said, I want to see how this holds up and works on its own, whether there's creasing from the minerals or not. I will also go in with my Young Blood Sherbet uh, Crushed Mineral Blush. This is a little bit not, it's not really the color that I want to use right now with my clothes, but this is the color that I have, so um, it's a pretty shimmery coral blush with a pink undertone, and uh, I am not going to use a highlighter today, so a shimmery blush is actually just what I need. It's very pretty. I'm just not so sure that it's a good uh, color 
for for this particular outfit but i like it um i like it more than i did because i'm now using less um i've initially said that it was not very pigmented and as you can see it's not a ton of pigment but it does come through as a very very nice glow so um i don't think it's meant to be very pigmented and i do like that glowy pretty flush so I think that's what it's meant to do and I think it does that very very nicely um, my skin is looking pretty decent there's a little bit of dryness around my nose around my pores are not perfectly um, a little bit emphasized they're not perfect but it's not bothering me too too much right now and around my forehead it's a little dry although I did moisturize extensively today I am going to use Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I am using this up. This is not natural, organic, or clean, but I do enjoy the product. I think it's a nice product. I do not um, mind the applicator. My preferred way to apply brow pencil is really from a very, very fine tip, which this one does not have, but it is a quicker application. So I think you trade off the precision for this little angled number over here and it does apply quicker I have to say a few strokes and my brows are done um, mind you my brows are do not require you know extensive help they're pretty decent on their own um, so you, you might need to spend a little bit more time if you do have um, less defined brows I am going to spoolie my brows through and uh, put a little bit of gel brow gel on it this is from sephora again i'm using this up probably will not repurchase i'll be looking for a more natural alternative but this brow gel i cannot fault it's actually a really great uh, brow gel with a tiny little spoolie which is what i look for in a brow gel good hold and a tiny spoolie that's pretty much all i need i do not need much more than that uh, however surprisingly it can be difficult to find Hopefully I'll be able to find a cleaner alternative. Um, I'm happy with the result. Now I'm going to move on to this contour palette, which I'm not going to be using for contouring today, but I will be using for my eyes. And this has a really nice selection of color. As you can see these, I use almost as a powder foundation. I swirl this puffy fan brush from MAC right across those three colors and then apply them to my face. I love them that way. Um, but today I'm going to take a fluffier brush and fluff this color right into my socket line. They blend absolutely effortlessly, as you can see, super, super easy. And today I wanna to do something quite shimmery on the eyes. Um, I could go in with the same blush and apply it in a more concentrated manner, but um, instead I will do something different. I'm going to use this pigment from Yves Rocher. This is 100% natural origin, uh, although it's Yves Rocher and Yves Rocher is not all natural, but this particular product from them is, and I am going to use the pigment in a quite a concentrated way. This will provide a bit of a transition, but I will take my shader brush, take out a little bit of pigment into the cap. This is rose gold. And the pigment is called, I guess, 01 Nacre Rose. Yeah. Um, so I have a little bit of pigment in the cap. I'm going to take my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and wet my brush. This way, the intensity of the pigment will be intensified. Therefore, it's gonna be more shimmery, basically. I'm foiling it is what I'm doing. Um, I'm picking it up onto the brush, and I am going to deposit the sheen across my mobile lid. And I think this will remedy and match a little bit more with my sweater today, which is rosy. So again, this is a really nice wash of color. And I'm going to take it underneath the eye as well. Give myself a little bit of a sheen there. And then repeat on the other eye. And you can vary intensity depending on what kind of look you like. If you want just a little bit of a glossy lid, take a very glossy, shiny pigment. 
and deposit it in a very sheer way and then you will get a very pretty glossy lid effect which i do like but today i am going a little bit more full pigment because I do want that rosiness because it's going to sort of tie my look together a little bit. However, that glossy, I just threw it on kind of look is very, very pretty. So I do recommend taking very, very shiny pigments and just doing a very sheer wash of color so you get the reflective effect. I am going to go ahead and take my Physician's Formula uh, Nude Eyes sort of taupey, very dark taupey brown pencil. And I will give myself a small amount of definition of the lashes, but that is not going to be the focal point of the look today. So it's going to be quite minimal. This is a cool color. By cool, I mean cool in temperature, which I really, really enjoy wearing. Um, and these are quite budge proof. So very impressive for a physician's formula to come out with a formula that is so user friendly and you know, gives me the desired look and gives me the desired wear. So very, very glad I have um, picked those up again. I've used them in high school, actually, these pencils, just randomly. I wasn't into natural beauty or anything, but I just, you know, I was looking, f I, I, I needed some color theory lessons, I think, but I was looking for uh, pencils, eye pencils for um, green eyes and Physician's Formula cleverly ma marked their sets as such. So I've been using their purpley green eye set. Um, these are really nice. So some of you might want to smudge that out. Me, I do not. I am going to soften it ever so slightly with my fingertip, which is what I usually do with my pencils, but I'm not going to use a smudger brush or anything like that. Just want a soft, diffused line. And this is basically what we have here. I am going to use my Birds Bees Nourishing Mascara. This is not the most dramatic mascara. I am waiting for it to dry out a little because it's a bit of a wet formula, which will automatically give you separation and length, but not necessarily a lot of volume. And the brush is a little pokey. It reminds me of a Tarte uh, Lights Camera Splashes or Splashes or whatever mascara that I've tried. And the only reason I didn't repurchase it, I did like the effect, but um, it did poke me, so I was a little bit less excited about it. This also pokes a little bit um, at the roots of your lashes when you're trying to deposit the color. It's just a little scratchy in terms of the brush, because the brush has those very sharp, long bristles. However, I do enjoy the effect and it seems to wear nicely on me. So I am putting up so far with the scratchiness, but you know, um, ideally it would just not be scratching my eyes. Um, it is giving me nice separation, nice length, easy to apply um, to the lower lashes as well. As you can see, I am always smudging on my lower lash line and with this one, I don't really get the same smudging. Uh, it just somehow glides on a little bit easier. So. The only complaint is a scratching and I'm going to keep using it and see how it dries out because sometimes when these kinds of mascaras dry out a little bit, uh, they do become a lot more user friendly and uh, more voluminous. So I'm hoping this is what's going to happen here. I am not a lover of clumpy lashes. In fact, there are a few makeup things that I hate more than clumpy lashes. So hopefully we can get a little bit more volume without the clumpiness, but we'll see. I am going to now go in with my lip product and today it's going to be Burt's Bees a Lipstick in 515 to Tide and this is a purpley pink sheer beautiful lipstick that I absolutely love however it's a little bit cool for this look now that I look at it so I am going to augment it and uh, if you know mineral uh, makeup it's very easy to augment with mineral makeup because now I have a creamy base I'm going to take some of the blush that I use on my cheeks and I am going to mix it in for a slightly warmer look. And now I think it's a little bit more wearable because the color clash is not there. So <laughs> this is the look for today. Um, tell me if you are interested in more natural beauty. I really have been enjoying wearing slightly more natural, more good for you ingredient decks. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed the results too. I think it's very pretty look. It's uh, it's totally it's 
totally wearable in my opinion very nice everyday wearable look um, and the products function very well so thumbs up um, I will report back a little when I wear a little bit more of that young blood uh, mineral foundation I do think that that might be problematic for my dry skin I'm continuing to try and moisturize more and more but um, maybe an oil next time underneath to see if it'll sit a little bit nicer but however it might be the case that it wears in very nicely throughout the day so oftentimes the foundations will just settle into my skin become a little bit more glowy as I wear them and actually midday or by the end of the day is when I like them the best so we'll see if this happens with this guy I'll report back later but that's it for today thanks for getting ready with me see you guys bye